Okay, this is the Swagman roll. It can be used either alone or in conjunction with the military poncho. It's made from climate shield, which means that it has very good insulative value. It has a hood just like the poncho has, so that it can be worn as a separate garment if you choose to do that, or again, used in conjunction with the poncho. It also has a front pocket that can also be used as a stuff sack that the entire Swagman roll can be stuffed into. And I often use that for a pillow or a sit pad when I'm around camp. That works out really well at the same time. And then you also have an area here that you can put stuff in and tuck it into as well or tuck the hood down inside of if you're using this as a layering device and sleeping in it. Because you also have the ability with this to make a sleeping bag. And I will show you that real quick before we put the poncho on. All you need to do is locate the area of the Swagman roll that has a zip here. And it's very simple to just fold it down in half and zip it up. And then it becomes a self-contained sleeping bag. And again, you can close and tuck the hood so that you close that off and no air gets inside. You can also just use this for a blanket and it works really well for that. Remember that when you are sleeping on the ground, you're trying to battle conduction. So anything that you have underneath you that doesn't have an R value once it's compressed isn't really giving you insulation. So using this as a sleeping bag is good if you're on top of a mat or some kind of sleeping powder ready. But you can also just use it as a blanket or a throw as well and roll up in it and double the insulation value like that. The other thing that's really good about this is that it can be used for an underquilt with your hammock. And it's got drawstrings on it that can be drawn down tight so that it cinches up around your hammock and then it can be clipped on or it can be clipped to your carabiners to be pulled tight so that it creates that dead air space to battle convection if you're in your hammock. The thing that's good about this is it really can be used to battle all types of heat loss mechanisms. The three main heat loss mechanisms you have to worry about are conduction, convection, and radiation. So you could use this for radiant heat to trap the radiant heat within your body because of the climate shield. You can also use it to battle convection by using it as a hammock under quilt like we talked about. And again, for conduction purposes, it's thick enough that you can lay it on the ground and get some R value combined with a browse bed or some type of padding that you're sleeping with. The last thing is it can be used as a standalone shelter or the last thing is it can be used as a standalone garment as well by putting it on just like you would put on a poncho with a hood. It has a nice drawstring on the hood. It also has these clips on the side that can be used multifunctionally again, making it even better for use as a garment because these can be used for the underquilt function, but also this can be taken behind you to the side in the back like this and buckled around your waist and then cinched up tight to again, trap the insulative value of that climate shield. And then you take the front and do the same thing. And you have created an outer garment with sleeves in it that's now trapping that dead air space inside. And that's the key to insulation is trapping dead air space. So you don't want this thing to be tight against your body. You want it to be loose so that it's trapping that dead air space between the clothing you have on and the outerwear like this. And combined with the poncho, it will also give you wind resistance or break wind and give you even more protection from the environment. So something like this is very multifunctional. It's a very good piece of kit and it's something that I recommend to all of my students at the Pathfinder School for use in their basic survival kit. One thing that this Swagman roll has at the bottom where the cinch cords are that would cinch it up tight for something like an underquilt, it also has toggles on each corner. These toggles are made so that it can be used in conjunction with the U.S. poncho as an improved poncho liner or wooby as we call them in the military with the fact that it now has a hood and arms in it whereas the old style didn't have that. So you just orientate the hood so that the openings are the same. Come down to the bottom and plug the toggles in to each one of the grommets just like this. You can pull the hood 
inside and then connect your last two grommets. And now you have not only do you have a system that you can use as a wearable piece of garment that will protect you from wind and rain, you also have a makeshift bivy because if you zip this into sleeping bag fashion like this, you've created a waterproof bivy that you can sleep on in the ground if you need to in what they used to call an army burrito. You can sleep inside this and protect yourself from the rain if it's going to sprinkle during the night or something like that. Obviously, if you're gonna be in heavy rain, you're gonna to wanna to tarp over top of this. But if you had damp ground that you were sleeping on and you had to sleep directly on that damp ground, something like this can give you protection from that damp ground and allow you to set this up in sleeping bag fashion and not get so wet and absorb that through the Swagman Roll.